4.4 number 13, we are going to calculate the limit when t is approaching 0, e to the 2t minus 1 over sine of t. As usual, let's plug in 0 into t to see what we get. So 0 into t here, we get e to the 0 power, which is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 on the top. Over sine of 0. Sine of 0 is also 0. So in this case, once again, we have 0 over 0. So lop is also rule, OK. So by that, we mean we can differentiate the numerator and then also differentiate the denominator. And however, this is not a quotient rule, this is a L'Hopital's rule. We are still dealing with the limit when t is approaching to 0. And now, the derivative of e to the 2t, you first write down e to the 2t, but you multiply by the derivative inside. The derivative of 2t is 2, and this is because of chain rule. And the derivative of negative 1 is 0, so this is what we have. And now look at the bottom individually. The derivative of sine t is just cosine t. And now, we can once again plug in 0 into the t to see what we get. And in this case, it's actually going to work out really nicely. We will have 2, e to the 2 times 0, because now t is equal to 0, over cosine, we plug in 0 into t. So just like this. So on the top, I have 2 times e to the 0 power. This is pretty much a 0 power. 2 times 0 is 0. So e to the 0 power is 1. 2 times 1 is 2 on the top. Over cosine of 0 is 1. So altogether, this limit is going to turn out to be 2. That's all.